Our first reading is from poetry editor John Darr. He will be reading The Body by Adam Walls from issue 14 of Mojo from September of 2017. The Body. What am I supposed to do in a world in which phallic availability meets atomic Scientology? Where do fucking cupcakes go when the sun sets on the darkest mind? If you must, place pearls next to the sculpture so he knows you've paid him. To have or have not, you'll explore more in Jackson County. I met a black snake there on the backside of a sundial and whispered, Protect me from what I want. So that's an interesting poem. Um, and it's actually, it's a very recent one as well from the previous issue, of, actually just previous issue of Mojo. What made you decide to select it to read for us? One of the first things I heard at WSU from a professor who is now departed is a lot of poetry these days is just attitude. And maybe it is. But in the case of this poem, and many more which I am really drawn to, the attitude and spirit of not just the poet, but of the universe as it is created by the poet, has to have a magnetic, lively quality for me to be drawn to it. And it doesn't have to be lively happy, it can be lively distraught or angry or sad but it has to have a charged urgent urgency to it i don't think we can afford to read poetry that's boring or unexciting and so with a poem like the body which jumps in full speed ahead with both this this begging tone that's also infused with humor but on another level really is asking about sexuality and confusion and precision in regards to both of those, I can't help but find myself engaged with the poem immediately and want to read more. And then when it rewards you with further excitement and, and humor and contemplation of, of how things end, how things start, what do we value, what do we find cute or appealing for one reason or another, that's when you have a poem that is making a delightful impact on the reader and offers plenty of opportunities not for only rereading and personal rereading, but really begs to be shared and discussed. So, as an editor, how does this poem reflect uh, your tastes when, uh, when selecting for Mojo and Micro? I like left turns in my poems. I like them to surprise me. Or if they don't surprise me, I have to be completely swept away by the beauty and wisdom of the poem in some other way. And this poem has these loaded, just lovely phrases chalked over and over again into, into a very small space that still seem to be revolving around a single idea or focus. In my mind, this poem is really grappling with our desire, our transactions for desire, and how we wander through these different environments to either find desi find what we are desiring or to almost prevent ourselves from finding too much of it or in ways that we don't know are morally right or wrong. So I like really dense poetry that's really fun but also has a clear focus and cohesion i can't i cannot do poetry that that is wild and fun like this that just can't find its focus and in a more general sense what sort of poetry are you hoping to uh feature in in micro and mojo i want poetry that's undeniably fresh that has feeling charged into it in unexpected ways I'm not going to be publishing work that doesn't add something to a conversation. 
it's a hard thing to say as a poet, but if you are expressing yourself or creating something that isn't new, that isn't, that isn't taking our complex emotions and creating out of those emotions something else, something else at all, then I'm not going to be able to publish it or even <laughs> stay awake during it a lot of the time. So what I want to do is publish really dense works um, that are showcasing situations, thoughts that are new from populations that tend to be either ignored or they're the ways of expression might be dismissed. I'm, I'm really interested in not necessarily opening doors or providing some sort of heroic service, but rather just fi allowing our stage to really feature work that that might otherwise go unappreciated or be determined uh, be determined as fluff by those who have been gatekeepers in the past. All right. That's good then.